Hi guys, welcome to this week's My Halifax. My name's Adam Cooper. If you're new to our YouTube channel, we make videos all about the fun and cool things you can do in and around Halifax. Last week, we took a week off from making videos and we decided we'd make a video for you guys all about what life in quarantine has been for us. For me, it's been a little bit different. I mean, I've been spending a lot of time at home where normally I wouldn't be, which basically means I've been drinking lots of tea and staying in my PJs for as long as I possibly can. Gina's been uh, sent home so she has to basically work from home non-stop. My job actually requires me still having to go out and meet people and sometimes that means video conferencing people um, on sites or at different places within the city. Um, so I am wrapped up and covered up um, pretty much all the time. Um, but driving through the city has actually been kind of nice. There's like zero traffic and I can get from one side of the city in like zero time. So that's been kind of nice. But I am the designated shopper for myself and Gina and my parents because they're in the high risk category. Uh, shopping, I'm not really enjoying that much. It's been, it's very stressful, it's very tense. Everyone's kind of trying to stay out of each other's way. It's a little bit tough. So it's kind of been a really good excuse for us to go and use um, the local farm markets and have stuff delivered or do the pickup services that they're offering, which is a great way to support local in Halifax. And it also kind of limits your exposure, which is, you know, kind of the whole point of doing this is just limiting people's exposure. So I've kind of stopped where I can going shopping in stores and just going to those local businesses that will either deliver or do pick up for us. But I will say evenings and weekends have been pretty awesome. Uh, for us, we've crushed a lot of film franchises and TV shows. Um, using different streaming services, whether it's Disney Plus, Netflix, or Crave. Um, and one Saturday, Gina and I did watch all three Lord of the Rings movies back to back, and it was great. We've also been playing a lot of games and doing a lot of puzzling. One of us in particular is crushing it right now on Animal Crossing and um, sometimes I don't see Gina for hours and hours. But we're also trying to do a lot of reading and kind of educational stuff just to kind of, you know, keep the brain working because it's kind of tough when you're stuck inside that you just end up getting stuck in streaming and gaming. So we're still doing lots and lots of reading wherever we can. But the truth is, this hasn't actually been that bad. Yes, it's been challenging, and yes, there's things we've missed, like Gina and I didn't get to celebrate our six year anniversary the way we would. We didn't celebrate Gina's birthday or my mom's birthday the way that we would. Um, we've had babies coming into our family we haven't been able to see yet, and it has been challenging. But for the most part, it's basically been staying home and spending time with people you love. And, you know, I've never had this much time to spend with Gina and it's been awesome. But for the most part, you know, we've got families that have been kept together. We've got people that are, you know, spending more time with their kids and more time with each other. And we're getting to do a lot of stuff that, you know, we wouldn't normally be able to do you know, during regular times. So there is some stuff to be grateful for. It is still important that you follow the Nova Scotia Health Directive of social distancing and keep practicing that stuff. Yes, they have opened some parks up but then you're supposed to stay within your community parks, which is good because it's gonna allow people to get out and get some exercise and get that mental health break. And it is still really important that we go out and support local because our local businesses need us. And when all this is over, we still wanna be able to go out and find our local businesses because they are the lifeblood and the heart and soul of our community. But I think as long as we can stay the path and get through this, um, I think it'll all be worth it in the end. So thank you for watching this week's video. It was a little bit of tongue in cheek and just having fun about how we're kind of living in self-isolation. And generally I do feel like it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be. And I think we should just remember there's a lot to be grateful in times like this. Um, next week, the plan was to make, uh, go back to a classic, which if you haven't watched the first season of my Halifax, you won't know what I'm talking about, but we did a couple of episodes of Cooking with Adam. So we're gonna do another one and we're gonna do um, a Victoria sponge, well, a lemon Victoria sponge with a cream and raspberry jam filling. However, there is a flour shortage, so that might be challenging, um, but we'll figure something out. 
But thank you for watching this week's video. If there's any way you think we should make a video or any cause or anything you think we should, that we think we should share with everyone, please let us know. And we'll see you next week.